What if I said right off the bat that this whole video is a lie? Now what? Is anything contained within this video going to be true? Since the statement, this whole video is a lie, includes itself, the statement being contained within the video, isn't the statement also a lie? If it is, then the statement must not be true. But if the statement is not true, then it would be a lie. But if it is a lie, then it must be true. So on and so forth, into infinity. And so, with this statement uttered at the beginning of the video, is anything true within it? Is everything else going to be? Is nothing else? Or is it somewhere in between? This is an example of the paradox known as the liar paradox. A more common formulation of it is the following. This sentence is false. Like in the case about this video, if this statement is true, then the sentence is false. But if the sentence is false, since it states that it is false, then it must also be true. Again, this continues on back and forth into infinity. This all might seem like incoherent semantic nonsense, and it might be. But even if that's what you think, there's something deeply insightful and profound uncovered here. The solution to the liar paradox, the way out of the contradiction, might simply be embracing the contradiction and acknowledging that the statement is meaningless. In this case, the statement is neither true nor false, since it merely references itself without anything outside of itself to assign the statement to, and it is a self-negating statement, it becomes void of any meaning and therefore void of any binary truth value. Therefore, there is no rightness or wrongness or trueness or falseness contained in the statement. But if this is true, how can a statement be meaningless while also being a complete statement, seemingly capable of communicating a complete thought and being fully comprehended? Perhaps rather, the attempt to declare it meaningless is in fact not a way out of the paradox. Regardless of what you think about the liar paradox, regardless of what you conclude or don't, the insightful and valuable part is arguably less about solving the paradox and more about exploring, revealing, and understanding the potential complexities, nuances, and contradictions fundamental to something that otherwise can seem so simple and straightforward. At bottom, the liar paradox is a simple example of how statements, perceptions, ideas, and beliefs, which otherwise appear to completely concur with the rules of language, logic, and perception, can lead to contradictions or fail to equate to any binary truth or falsity. Paradoxes in general are in, behind, and underneath everything. Our language, our logic, our science, our minds, our universe. Whether it's the paradox of tolerance, which reveals that if a society achieves total tolerance, it will become inclusive of the intolerant, and intolerance will become prevalent. Or the Fermi paradox, which demonstrates the contradiction between the high likelihood of there being large amounts of extraterrestrial life in the cosmos, and there being no evidence of any. Or the paradox is central to consciousness and identity, like the seeming impossibility of the physical material of the brain producing subjective first-hand experience. Or the paradox at the very origin of the cosmos. Why is there something rather than nothing? And how did something come from nothing? Or how is anything infinite if something's always been? All of these paradoxes and countless more mirror the same fundamental confusion and contradiction exemplified in the essence of that simple statement found at the beginning of this video. Whether it's a short sentence or the nature of everything, when digging into things, we don't hit bedrock, but rather, we hit seemingly unending voids of paradox, uncertainty, and absurdity. And whether we realize this or not, whether we dig into the surface ourselves or not, this is the ground we all stand on. Today, I'm very excited and proud to announce that I've just released a brand new book that explores this realm. It is called The Art of Living an Absurd Existence, Paradoxes and Thought Experiments That Change the Way You Think. It is my collected works of fully updated and revised essays on paradoxes, thought experiments, and big questions of philosophy that dive headfirst into the absurdity of existence and remind us of who we really are and what's important. To get your copy, you can use the link in the description below. Ultimately, we are all living an existence that none of us chose and none of us really understand. Naturally, everything can, at times, feel strange, chaotic, and overwhelming. Anxiety, isolation, and lack of clarity can easily spring up from things like the hidden experiences in our heads that we cannot properly communicate, the uncertainty of right and wrong, true and false, the idea of what it means to exist on a planet in a universe, and the prospect of what it means to no longer exist anywhere. 
Throughout my time reading, learning, and writing about ideas in philosophy, psychology, science, and so on, I have particularly found immense value, solace, and understanding through paradoxes and thought experiments. They are not only fun and challenging, but they are also powerful vehicles for traversing the depths of existence in a way that encapsulates the total image of the absurdity, beauty, and wonder. The strongest form of self-development, arguably, is the development of one's perspective, one's ability to think more clearly with more nuance and across spectrums of possibilities. Paradoxes and thought experiments give the mind the space to do this, to explore itself, the limits of itself, and the possibilities of itself. They break down the rigid walls of our ordinary thinking and reveal what's outside the binary, right or wrong, true or false, good or bad, this or that. And I hope my new book helps provide that for you as well. The world is so much more than what's on the surface. There's so much in between and outside of our ordinary thinking and ordinary experience. And for me, the full breadth of beauty and depth of wonder properly begin here, at the end of the mundane and at the onset of the absurdity. Or perhaps this whole video was a lie. You can decide. Again, for those interested, The Art of Living an Absurd Existence is available now through the links in the description below. It is currently available in both paperback and ebook formats. If you do choose to get a copy, sincerely, thank you so much in advance. And of course, regardless, as always, thank you so much for watching in general. Your continued support in any and all the ways you do means the world to me, however absurd the world may be.